from many players. Let's break down what feedback the developers are actually looking into as far as we know so that there's a chance that these changes might be patched in. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and don't forget to hit that like button. It's pretty common in third person action games to be able to switch camera angles to fit your playstyle or to be able to hit an enemy that you can't see while being over the other shoulder. Well in Horizon Zero Dawn there is no such feature. You can only look over the right shoulder of Aloy while aiming. Here we see Nicolas Bauman, I hope I pronounced his name right, as the game director Matthijs de Jonge if it's possible that they will add such feature in the future. Well Matthijs answered as you see right here, quote, noted but can't promise anything, end quote. At least he let us know that they're looking into it. I totally understand why he isn't saying noted will come later because you don't want to break promises. So there is a chance that we will see camera switching in the future. A ton of people are literally crying about this one, the language pack in the game. Right now there's audio for German, English obviously, Italian and French, but no Spanish for example. And a ton of Spanish players, as far as I see all the players that request this feature, come from Spain. Anyway, they have a hard time understanding the game. As you see right here, Matthijs is aware, all he can say right now. This tweet is also about the language packs, they are investigating but he can't say anything more and there are more tweets with the same sort of answer. I can see them adding this in the future because this is really a problem for people that can't understand English. If you pre-ordered Horizon Zero Dawn you got awesome outfits and no I can't show you them right now because I don't have them, I got the game from Sony for review. Anyway, it would be awesome to still get them though for a small fee in the PlayStation Store. I would also be totally down for other outfits that they might add for a small fee. I would totally spend money on gear if it can make Aloy look awesomer. I mean Persona 5, to just name a recent game, is also doing this, well actually a lot and I'm really tempted to buy these outfits because they look super awesome and I care about the look of my characters. But now, the question from Felix Wood, quote, Will the pre-order DLC be available to get on the PSN store for those who didn't pre-order, end quote. Matthijs answered, quote, maybe, we're looking into that, can't promise, end quote. It's good to know that they're at least looking into it. Like I said, I would love to pay Guerrilla Games for some awesome Aloy outfits, even the pre-order outfits. But yeah, it would be even better if I could use these outfits in new content or at least a new game plus mode. I mean, we know the story expansion is coming, but that one is probably far off. So something else to keep us in the amazing world would be great. The most requested feature by far is new game plus. And like I already said in the new game plus video, game director Matthijs de Jonge says that they are aware of this request. Again, something they are probably looking into, not saying that they are doing, but still it's better than a full on ignore. I also saw some other things like some sort of storage near a campfire to put a ton of stuff in so that your inventory is not full all the time. Or a feature to sell all the crap out of your inventory that only has some value for metal scraps. Stuff like that, that you also see in other RPGs. Guerrilla Games has been releasing patches like every week now. That is pretty great, but really if we look at the real new features that they added, one only comes to mind that was requested a lot, and that's being able to buy resources faster. Something they of course added in patch 1.10. I personally want to see more of these awesome features that they did with 1.10. Right now we haven't really seen them apart from a ton of fixes. But maybe when Guerrilla Games thinks okay the game is now in a good place in terms of bugs and stuff like that. Then they will maybe look at the many requested features. Fingers crossed for New Game Plus. Anyway, when something like that happens, I will keep you up to date, of course, so subscribe to stay up to date on everything Horizon Zero Dawn. Like the video if you did, and if you saw something else that Guerrilla Games confirmed that they 